Hello everybody. Today I'm making this video to show you guys a little project that I've been uh, working on. I've been turning these uh, solar spotlights into uh, little solar lamps that you can put in a lot of your rooms. They're kind of decorative. And it's uh, pretty simple. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'll take a quick second and talk about the uh, solar spotlights. Uh, this lower one here, which you hopefully can tell, was uh, $3.99. This is the one I got it at Walgreens, and it has three LEDs on the inside. Hopefully you guys can see that. And a little solar cell here with just a few strips. Um, $3.99, not too bad. And then we have the, the monster here. This one came from Walmart. It was $10, and it actually has a, a real, real nice uh, little solar panel there. And the LEDs inside here, which uh, you'll see, are at least triple the size of uh, this one here. And it gives off way, way, way more light. So um, when I make the little um, solar nightlight lamps, whichever you want to call it, I will be using this one. It's a okay. better example. So, so. first I'm going to start with taking off these uh, four screws here. And there is one screw here and one screw here. I'm not going to worry about these screws in here because this I'm going to keep one unit. So I'm going to go ahead and stop rolling and take the screws out there. Okay, so I went ahead and moved uh, one screw in, one screw there, one screw there, and four screws on the lens. And that should just pop right out. Put that off to the side. And this one's slightly different than the smaller one, so I'm just gonna go ahead, and there's only two wires here, a black and a red one. So just go ahead and cut your wires. All right. All right, and gently tap it. I like what I just did. And this will pop right out of there. And I do have a bunch of these now, and I'm not quite sure what to do with them yet, but I have been saving them just in case. So what we basically have is a lamp, and that should pop off. Maybe not. That's all right. I'll cut it off later. And you have two wires, at which the red's the positive, the black's negative. Same on that one. So what I'm going to do from here is go ahead and strip the, the tips here on all the, the ends so I can prepare them for soldering. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you one and I'll stop rolling. Okay, and show these uh, wires real quick. There's only, I don't know, three or four strands in there. They're very small, but um, they, they seem to work just fine, even though they're very tiny. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and strip the rest of them. Okay, so I've gone ahead and stripped all the wires and twisted the ends there, getting ready to solder. And the next thing I normally do, I uh, try to find old cords that I have no idea what they even went to anymore. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these. So I'm going to use this cord here and it doesn't matter if it's DC or AC the uh, wire doesn't know the difference so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the ends off here all right get those out of the way so that leaves me with this and this one actually has on one side um, lettering on it on one of the wires so I'm going to use that one for the uh, the red so I'm just going to go ahead and spread the ends there like that and I'm going to go ahead and strip them just like I stripped these okay so I went ahead and cut all the ends off and stripped them and twisted the ends just like I uh, did there so now I'm going to take the actually Let's not jump ahead. 
I'm going to use this. You don't have to use this. Um, but I think it gives it a little cleaner look. It's the uh, shrink tube, I guess is what you call it. And it just gives it a, like a, kind of a vapor barrier. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off a couple little sections. All right. And which I almost always forget to do. I'm just going to go ahead and feed them through first. that one and go ahead and do that one okay and this probably wasn't the best example for, of wire to use because you guys can probably it's probably hard to tell but there is lettering on one wire here like this wire that I also grabbed would have been a better choice because there's a very distinct white strip down there um, so that I would use use as a positive and Always use that, use this negative. So, anyway, I'm going to take and use the one with the lettering on it, which is this one, and I'm just going to keep that with the red. I'm going to go ahead and twist them together. All right, then I'll take the black one, twist that with the black one. And just, you know, red is usually positive and black is usually negative. And my other end here with the lettering. So the white is that one. White lettering. And twist that one. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to solder, but I usually like to just Turn it on. Oops. Yep, so it seems to work fairly well, which is good. Let's go ahead and shut that off. And I'm going to go ahead and let my solder iron heat up, and I'll show you how to do that real quick.